We're ready in three, two, one, go. We immediately kick off this match. We're about scoring high, 74, 54, 57. Facing a cone high, they're going to then move forward onto the charge station, try and get it docked. Able to do so in the last second. It'll immediately lead to 33 to 15 in favor of your Red Alliance. Watching this match as it plays out, teams want to focus on trying to get as many of the game pieces up. 74 of 57, the entire comp has been focusing on game pieces in front of their immediate driver station. A really different strategy than some other teams have been taking, but it does make them very efficient at making sure their game pieces are in control, seeing as they can see exactly where they're placing. Lions partners, 39-47, looking to pick up a cube. Blue Lions side, we have 35-59, moving at the moment. Disco Ducks also trying to get, figure out what's going down with their robot. 17-41. Currently trying to hold down the fort for the Blue Alliance. 51 to 24 in favor of your Red Alliance. Over on the Red Alliance side. Knight Robotics looking to place a cone into that lower hybrid station. That'll be two big points for them. 64 to 24 in favor of your Red Alliance. Last Crusaders placing a cube up high. And Disco Ducks are back in action. Got a cone currently stuck underneath the drivetrain. I'm going to play some defense right now. 34 seconds left in this match. Red Alert looking to place a cube up high for the Blue Alliance. Docked by 74.57. See if Alaskan Crusaders can get up with them. 15 seconds left in this match. A double dock for the Red Alliance. Blue Alliance are looking to do the same as well. Disco Ducks with that cone stuck on the robot. Not quite able to get up there. We have our scores for Qualls of 28. The winners of that match, the Red Alliance. Red Alliance winning a 101 to 36.